Good day everyone, so you're doing really well. Let's start off 2025 with Mavuika and her infinite skill glitch plus a bit of a review of just Mavuika in general without the combat. The combat video will be after this one. Today's video is going to be quite spicy as well. I'll tell you why Reddit is stupid and also teach you how to drive infinitely here with Mavuika. So it's going to be really, really awesome. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get into infinite bike riding. You want to discuss connect your internet in dwell a saurian and the moment you do that uh, jump and swap to Mavuika and then dash with Molani your presto in a saurian once you reconnect the internet and hey there is a Mavuika infinite skill glitched bike that you can teleport anywhere on the Tevat map too so the other maps like in Crimea don't work because it's entire scene change and you can now just have a ton of fun well, actually, let's just slow down everything just a bit, because I think that might have been a bit too fast for some people. Yes, glitching with in Genshin Impact can become very, very complicated, so I'll explain these things very, very slowly, although in my assessment, this glitch is pretty much a 1 out of 5 difficulty. But let me give you guys a bit of a secret. There is a way to do this glitch very reliably, and that is to copy my Python script, which I'll have linked down below in the description and so on, and just then run it from your Python terminal because it's got the exact timing for when to disconnect and reconnect your internet. I often use the script when I work out on glitches and Genshin Impact, and it just allows me to do things way more precisely. Now, if you don't know what Python is and you don't are not comfortable using the command line, um, well, good luck. It'll just be trial and error for you. But there is a reliable method. This is something that I use as a glitcher. So, okay, let's revisit the whole thing again. You can go with any Natlan character, let's say Shalonen, Mulani, Mavrika, and Kachina. Currently, no others um, will, will black count. And what you can do is exactly what I described earlier. You're going to first disconnect your internet, then indwell a Saurian, jump up, switch to your desired character, and then when you reconnect, you just need to make sure that your previous character moves, and then voila you have the infinite skill glitch for all of the characters, which is really, really awesome. Now, well, it was awesome when I thought, hey, I'm going to show this to people, but I didn't show them the method. And then people on Reddit gave a lot of upvotes, but a lot of people were pretty angry. They thought that I was gatekeeping glitches, although on my channel we kind of show glitches, which is kind of funny, but these people don't know me, of course. And then some people have this weird idea that, oh, a glitch is going to get patched in any case, so why not just share it? And as you can see, I formed a lot of negative downvotes, which is pretty awesome. I've, if you want to go and read and just have some fun at the uh, responses on Reddit, go ahead. It's really, really funny. Um, but in my opinion, the people on Reddit are pretty stupid. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. And people like myself have done these infinite glitches. You can see I've got the secret revealed video ready and waiting for the moment where you patches my private method. It's there. It's already been uploaded 1 December. It's a method I used in previous videos on the channel and basically it doesn't rely on any internet disconnects or whatever it's a far more difficult method to set up it's like a five out of five in terms of difficulty but once it's done you can log in and out you don't ever need to worry about disconnects and so on and it just works i'm very confident that hoyo will not patch that but they'll definitely patch the current method that i have just like shown to you guys and just as a bit of proof that i've got this hidden secret method other than than a YouTube video that's been uploaded a month ago, I can break the Paimon barrier using the skill, which you cannot do with the disconnect reconnect method. It's not going to work. I can promise you, as someone that glitches this game really well, that's done the Paimon barrier method like for over a year, this you need my method. So this is just me basically. Um, in a not so subtle way telling reddit that they are a bunch of morons i don't know what they're talking about and that there is a secret skill but okay 
that is enough of my gripes with reddit and them being idiots let's go and explore the volcano and to do that let's just do a bit of a two times speed because otherwise this can get really long so for people that have watched um, the channel we've always explored the volcano I've explored it again here in 5.3 uh, there are just a couple of small geometry changes so Hoyo is working on it but other than that there's nothing really new or exciting to show so perhaps like as background footage to a follow-up video in the future we'll show a bit more of this but I don't think there's anything really to point out although one of the things that I found was a giant um, well not not this part we've seen this part before but under the map itself there's a giant part that's out of bounds like a dome and that is I think perhaps related to the latest Archon quest which as of the time of recording I've not done yet so no please no spoilers on that but I assume we're gonna go to that place at some point because it's it looks like the Night Kingdom area but it's a separate area you'll see here as we're gliding out out of bounds there's like a big sphere there in the background um, this is just me messing with my weaker but as you can see there's this big sphere and once you get to it well yeah it looks pretty pretty cool we're as you can see there on the mini map we're currently out of bounds um, beyond the Paimon barrier but the moment we get in this is clearly an area that is underneath the map which is really really cool and there's lots of glitchy effects because you're not actually supposed to be out here which is really really nice but yeah so with that all being said as the video plays out here in the background let's talk a bit about Malvika and the first thing that I want to say is that she is just so cool with her dragon motorcycle it's just so really really awesome I decided to go for Malvika over Sitlali because well even though I like Sitlali a bit more Malvika just has this fun factor when playing with her and it's just, I, I don't know, there's just something about Movika and the different things and skill expressions you've got with the bike uh, outside of the glitch now, just like when playing normally that you can do, which makes the game feel a bit more alive. So from that perspective, from overworld perspective, I've been enjoying a lot of things with Movika, including things like terrain hopping, trying to do the double flight tech uh, so that you can keep longer in the air i've also discovered that you can do chaska mavuika infinitely uh, which is just really really cool and the one thing that i would have liked a lot is to have seat lolly as well i like seat lolly but i just i just don't have enough primo gems to pull which seems really odd because people know that i've got a couple of c6 characters um so the the truth from my side is is that i've decided um well last year not to spend a dime on Honka and back the third and basically to reduce my spending on Genshin and this year I've decided well I want to try and spend almost nothing in terms of the Hoyo games and just enjoy them with the choices of knowing that you're going to get some characters and not other characters and that is just part of the pain so I've com I've got a high completion percentage I got enough Primo Gems on both of my accounts I got um, Mavuika and unfortunately that just means that there's nothing left for Sitlali, uh, but it is what it is. So hopefully that means also that the content coming up will be a bit more relatable to some people. But I'm honestly very happy with Mavika. Uh, the one thing that I'm not happy with is exactly what I've just spoken about. And that is the fact that I couldn't get both characters because Hoyo decided to put both of them on the same banner. It is just so annoying. I don't know why they did it. And then they deferred the Lantern Right rewards. If I were Hoyo, I would have said, hey guys, here's 10 Lantern Right rewards and here's 20 pulls for the start of the year. We know we've got a double banner, so this is our way to compensate. Literally, that's all Hoyo had to do. And they would have gotten so many, they would have gotten so much goodwill from players. And it kind of failed because that was their chance to impress. So what happened? Well, Wuthering Waves happened and now the community is like looking at Wuthering Waves, the quality over there, and they're like thinking, hmm, you know, you're giving me a bike that I can't ride infinitely unless someone like Kokomi Clan does a glitch. And it's, you can understand the frustration. And it's very difficult for me as well as someone that loves Genshin Impact to try and defend this because I like Mavuika. I like the aesthetics. I like the 
characterization of the character and it's something that I want to share with people and yet Hoyo doesn't make that job very very easy um, not that I'm paid by Hoyo whatsoever um, as I've explained before I just do this for fun but it's difficult to have something cool that you want to show to people and Hoyo works actively against it but nonetheless what I've said shouldn't take away from the fun that you can have so if you're like me and you're a Genshin aficionado having fun with Umavika is the way to go and as you can see on the screen there is definitely a lot of ways to have fun uh, so this is also why I made uh, this video as well in a certain sense I'm grateful someone else got the infinite skill glitch because now we can all appreciate the quality assets that Hoyo has um, given Mavuika in terms of her look which you <laughs> uh, sorry I just it I just had to show this in the video because why not I mean that's just the best part of the whole Mavuika experience but in any case all right that's enough yapping from my side hopefully you guys have enjoyed all of this go have fun with the infinite skill glitch it's probably going to get patched in a week or two or at least by next patch so uh, if you've got Mavuika have fun if you've got Sitlali tell me how you use her because um, in the future I might still get her there are still 20 days left we've got the um, spiral burst reset events so it's not out of the woods yet but if we get her we'll cover her but other than that look forward to the next video where it's just Kokomi and Mavuika all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again cheers